1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1. Having mom and dad be their grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can really see mom as a as a grandparent. The first kid for her is gonna be. <laughs> Who do you think of us is gonna have the first kid? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Today we are celebrating World's Sibling Day. It is currently April 10th, and. Yeah, you are my sibling. I don't know if you would like to present yourself. My name is Nikolai. I am 25 years old and I'm studying physiotherapy in Aarhus, in Denmark. And I am, yeah, I'm three years older than Jeppe. I've known him for about 20 year, 22 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're close. For today's episode, I asked you to prepare some questions I'd like to ask you a question. Okay. So, what pros and cons do you see in the relationship of siblings versus the relationship of friends? Okay, I can I can start off with the con because <laughs> I thought about a, a con. Um, I think the fact that we are blood related and very like connected through family makes it that if we were in the interest of betraying one another. Maybe I should make them more like how it adapts to our our relationship because I I'm not really interested in betraying you in any way. Um, the, the pro is that being a sibling, you have a way deeper understanding of background. I can feel that you understand what I say because you understand my past. You understand how I grew up, who I grew up with, my parents, which is in this case also your parents. I feel like you are the most honest of the three siblings. I would like to ask you my first question. Yep. Which is, if you had a Saturday without plans, how would you spend it? Be creative. I would grab my tent and my climbing equipment and go to like some place in the US where the rock bouldering mm. originated. I would go there okay. and go bouldering. Do you have another question for me? I do. Um, how has your relationship to your siblings developed throughout the years? Oof. Wow. Meanwhile, we did elementary school, ground school. I feel like we mostly just shared a household and, you know, we woke up every morning, we brushed our teeth, we went to school, we came home, sometimes we ate dinner together and then we just went to bed. Credit to you, like you have always been three years ahead of me because of age, obviously. Always in the later years was always super good at learning, uh, like teaching me stuff that you that you found that you benefited from. Hi, Elbe. <laughs> I'm just like sometimes I'm just like smiling because I'm so excited to see how it's gonna progress, what's gonna happen in the future, like which romantical partners. You're gonna find, Sophie's gonna find, and I can imagine the Christmas dinners, Easter holidays. It's just gonna be hilarious when you, Sophie, and I are collected. We maybe have all the family, uh, kids, and yeah. I'm looking forward to those Christmas dinners as well. Yeah. And having when we create our own little family with kids and having mom and dad be their grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can really see mom as a, as a grandparent. I think the first kid for her is going to be... <laughs> Who do you think of us is going to have the first kid? Mm, I think that's a one third, one third change for each of us. You think so? Could, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be you. Possi yeah, possibly me. Having started an education already. Yeah. Um, what memory of us gives you a smile on your mouth? A smile on my mouth. When you and I and Jerome and Cesar, we went to the Austrian, oh, yeah, Austrian, the Austrian Alps. Alps. Had an amazing adventure with climbing. And the, the memories of that gives me so much joy. Yeah, me too. How is the impact of the age difference between you and your siblings 
So both having a sibling the same age as you and also having an older sibling three years older. First of all, I think it's cool as hell to have a twin sister. And always when I say people, tell, tell people I have a twin sister, they're like, what, what, what? Do you look alike? Uh, what's her name? Like, how, do, how does she look? They always want to know if we look alike. Having a three year older brother, I think it's the biggest life hack in the whole world. <laughs> because you learned everything three years ahead of me. And then as the good brother you are, you're just teaching it to me. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy about that. How do you think it is to have a younger brother and younger sister? In the past, the age meant more than it does now. Because now I see us just as equal. I know there is a three years age difference. When I look at you two and what you're doing in your life now, it's often, oftentimes it's funny to see where you are and what you're doing. Like I, I can relate to so many things when I look at you and Sophie. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's funny to see a replay of, okay. of another person doing kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah because I mean, we had very similar pa paths so far mm. that uh, yeah, we did the same kind of um, education. We went to the same academy, sporting academy. Uh, you moved to Berlin, I moved to Berlin. Oh, yeah, third question. What is your love language? My love language is physical touch and, and giving gifts. It, it's not like I go out and buy a present and wrap it up. Mm. It's more like when I cook food, I like to share it, share it with other people. And it is also words of affection. I like to give compliments to people. Oh, I've always had a really hard time giving compliments to people. And it's something I really I'm working actively on. Mm. Try and give more compliments because I think I, I really love receiving compliments myself. Yeah, people become happy when other per other people notice yeah. nice things about them. Yeah, for sure. So, in in which ways are you completely different from your siblings? Oof, I have a very obvious one. <laughs> that, for example, I really enjoy and like being in front of a camera and I'm really outgoing um, in the terms of my looks. Probably it's also a lot of my ego speaking, like wanting to have a lot of um, confirmation. What is your biggest worry these days and why? My biggest worry these days is uh, my gut health is very bad and it's been causing me a lot of stress. So that that takes up a lot of mental en energy. And it's also something that's on my mind a lot and something I don't want to put as much effort into. Yeah. I, I want to put a lot of effort into it, but I don't want to give it too much thought. But all in all, I'm I'm happy. Okay, nice. Happy mm. to hear that. Me too. You're also happy? How would you like your relationship between your you and your siblings to develop during the next... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 oh. years. <laughs> I would like my sibling relationships to develop the same positive direction it has been so far the last, I would say, at least four or five years. If we can reach the moon then. Yeah, we can go to endless potential. Being brutally honest with each other and telling, okay, hey, even though I know this would maybe hurt the other person, tell because it comes from from love yeah when do you feel most confident at a f at a festival in the summer having had a good night's sleep being around lovely people being a, in an amazing atmosphere created by nice music and good weather like when the when the atmosphere around me is on point then typically i am too then i i just feel good okay so you're very much a product of your surroundings yeah maybe the last or yeah i think i have a last question okay were you and your siblings treated differently by your parents yes and no we always all of us experienced equal love from our parents time spent with different parents varies i think i spent more time with dad because we had more common hobbies as in playing golf and playing football together so if we spend more time with mom because they were riding horses 
but yeah, treat it differently. I also think the dynamics have been very fun to observe. Um, how Sophie was always a bit like could be bitchy with mom and have the little fights. I feel like I could be bitchy with both of them, <laughs> and you just were not bitchy with them. The biggest difference is that I haven't been fighting so much with mom and dad as you two have. Yeah, well, yeah. What is one thing you would like to change about me? About you? Yes. One thing that I see a potential for you developing is being more content with with who you are, having less need to gain recognition from other people. Regardless of other Re people's opinions. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I'm happy that you say. That you also recognize because I recognize it with myself. Yeah. We only really need ourselves in the end. Mm. Mm. And that's also something I really admire with you that you I don't want to call you a lone wolf because you're also very very social but you're just like super independent and have your own opinions regardless of other people which I find very cool and which I know other people also value in you excuse me fly the point we must not my scan what the hell was what kind of advice could you give to other people with siblings who have maybe found themselves struggling. The most important thing for me is honesty. Because the, there's this saying, what you resist will persist. It will feel uncomfortable in the moment yeah. saying something which you're not very fond of. But having just clears the, the air. Mm. Time, time will heal the wounds. Yeah. Thank you for wanting to take part in my little video project. You're welcome. And thanks for having me. Star in your in your podcast. You're welcome. Hi hi. And now mom and dad is here. So it's a good time to to end it to end this episode. Mor, Kan du lige uh, bare lige sådan du ikke lige lave så meget lyd. Altså fordi vi det lige, virkelig var sidst eller sidste. Måske det egentlig bare lige kan gå udenfor i et minut. Eller måske to. Thank you for watching, thank you for coming, and now we are having a family dinner. Christ yeah, Easter. Easter, uh, Easter get together dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for. <coughs>